Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited that you came to my channel today. In this channel, we talk all about QuickBooks point of sale and how to use it correctly. And so I'm glad you are on board. Today we're gonna be talking about the receipt screen and how you would take a check payment on making a sale. And before we jump into that, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, which is an excellent community where you can ask questions, talk about errors or workflows, or request a video for this channel. People such as me and other store owners on QuickBooks Point of Sale would be happy to answer your questions. If you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, I'm gonna head on the file menu here and we're just gonna make sure that we have a preference set up correctly so that we can take checks in the company area. So in company, I'm gonna go down to sales and receipt tendering right here. And right here you can either mark or unmark all of the different payment methods that you wanna use on your cash register. I can see that I have check checked. <laughs> And so it is enabled, and that way I can take a check on the payment screen for a receipt. So if I go in to make a sale, it's going to say my pin pad is connecting because it does that every time you go to the make a sale screen. Now I'm probably going to want to take a customer history or add a new customer. Uh, so if they've been in your store before, you can certainly go ahead and choose them. I got Samuel Johnson here and then I'm gonna ring him up. I don't have a barcode scanner on me and this is all kind of fake anyway. So Samuel Johnson is gonna buy some super pants because they're so awesome and he whips out his handy dandy checkbook. Some stores these days no longer take checks because there's too much fraud and all that but maybe we know Samuel Johnson is a good guy. We've seen him around town. He seems to be doing all right, we trust him, whatever. And so uh, he is writing a check and that is fine with us. So we hit the check button. It's gonna come up and we're gonna say that we are accepting a check. And the amount is our total plus the tax, of course, it's automatically filled in. And then just so you can keep things straight in your QuickBooks accounting when you are reconciling or making deposits, you are going to put in his check number. Wow, he's written a lot of checks. That's a pretty high number. All right, maybe that's more realistic. All right, so we hit save, and there you have it. The check 6543 has been taken, and then we can either save and print or save only. I don't have a receipt printer today, so I'm just going to hit save only. And I'm just going to pop back over to the customer list here. We're going to find Samuel Johnson, and we can see here in his sales receipt history, he bought the super pants. If I double click on that history, I can see that the check was taken. Of course, this will come up on the deposit screen in QuickBooks Accounting when you are doing that, maybe at the end of the week. There it is. It's pretty simple to take a check in QuickBooks Accounting, or I'm sorry, QuickBooks Point of Sale. Uh, stay tuned. In the future, I am going to show you a method with the check payment where you can actually kind of use it as a conduit to take other types of payments, such as PayPal or, I don't know, Bitcoin or other, just other payment methods, maybe Venmo, uh, Zelle, I don't know. There's all these weird payment methods these days. Maybe you got Google Pay or Android Pay or Apple Pay or something that you wanna take in your store and you can kind of use check as a workaround. So stay tuned to that video and if you like this video, go ahead and hit like down below or leave a comment if you have any questions. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself an excellent day.